Hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. This is another one of the coffee mugs that my mother-in-law got me quite a few years ago. Um, I really love the color and the poinsettias and the holly berries all over it. Um, it was part of a set. There's a green one that I'll probably be showing you at some point later. But today's tea is a mixture, a blend of David's Tea Just Beat It, which is um, beet, B-E-E-T, uh, which is a fruity tea, as I recall. And I mixed it with my chocolate hazelnut from Stash. Um, I like chocolate and fruit. I like chocolate strawberries. I like the Christmas uh, chocolate oranges. Um, so I really like mixing those. And so I thought this combination should work out really well. Let's give it a try and see. Might need to steep longer. I'm not actually getting much flavor from either one, which is really kind of odd because it's a smaller cup. Getting a hint of the fruit and just a touch of chocolate. So we're gonna let this sit and steep for a little while. It also needs just a touch more sugar because you know I'm a sugar girl. But anyway, yeah, we're just gonna let that steep for a little while and see how that works out towards the end of our video, which is going to be kind of a long one. What I have done this year, as you recall, if you've been with the channel for a while, um, earlier this year, like in January or something like that, I did a, what were my favorites for 2017? And it was huge long and it was mostly cosmetics. And a lot of those favorites were from, um, not just 2016, but from and 2017, but just a kind of a, a conglomeration of things. This year I'm splitting it up into two. The first one, which we're doing today, is going to be hair care and skin care, and then the next one will be actual makeup. As we all know, I've just gotten into my um, hair care this year, so there is a lot here. Let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the skincare. So I have this big box full of my favorites from hair care and skincare. So going to start with the skincare, like I said. And the first thing I'm pulling out is the Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser Hyaluronic Acid um, Cleanser. This is a gel cleanser, so it's clear. You do not need a lot of it. Uh, it's about $15, $16, something like that and you get a lot more than you do with my previous favorite which was first aid beauty and it's very gentle and it's very cleansing and i've really enjoyed it i did win this from derma e this is not sponsored i won this in one of their little giveaways that they do every week and i really appreciate it and out of the trio this ended up being my favorite and i'm like i said i'm really enjoying it and i highly recommend it Nice and light and cleansing, which is what I particularly like in my cleansers. Very light. Next, another one that I actually won. This one from Preen.me. And this is the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Cooling Mud Mask. This has, the only thing I don't really like about this is the application method, which is this roller ball. It's a light, on the pus side of the roller ball. Let's just say. Um, it does help give you an even uh, thin layer of the product. Um, I do find myself uh, taking my um, my mud my mask brush. Oh, this should be easy. My mask brush and evening it out a little bit. But other than that, this is a really nice. It is a soothing um, mask. It's cooling you could actually feel it cooling on the skin it dries very quickly it's not a very long mask my skin feels very refreshed and soft when I'm done with it but another one that I highly recommend it's very refreshing very soothing and it does last a while so the next two I reviewed recently and that is the uh, L'Oreal pure clay uh, mud masks I have the red algae and the charcoal um, I really enjoy these. I actually initially tried these with a sample of the Yuzu Lemon, which I also really like. The 
red clay, the red algae, and the yuzu lemon both have tiny little particles in them so that they're also kind of a, um, a kind of a little bit of a scrub as well as a mask. They do clean everything out. I had a uh, teeny tiny little those really teeny tiny little hard pimples that you can sometimes get up here and the two of these have not only cleared them up but kept them away um, and this one is a charcoal mask that I'm going to start getting in replacement of my um, origins because it does end up being easier to buy in these smaller jars and uh, it's just a little bit cheaper they both clean out the all three of them clean out my face very well. This one's a little safer for me than the yuzu lemon because my skin is a little sensitive to citrus. But other than that, I recommend that one too. And I really, really like these and I will be repurchasing. However, I've been using them for a while now. And as you can see, I still got quite a bit left. So these don't take a lot. I use my, um, my mask brush to put them on and I just, I put on a nice thin layer and they, so I haven't used up a whole lot on either one of them actually. Oh, well, this one's almost there. Um, but I've really enjoyed them. I use this one about once a week actually. So that's probably one of the reasons why it's um, almost gone or about halfway gone. Whereas this one I round robin with some other mud masks that I have. One that has charcoal and some that don't. So this one will take a little longer to go through. But they don't take a lot. My absolute favorite thing from my uh, skincare discoveries this year has been the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. You can get this on the Hush app. And, whoa, we went sideways. <laughs> it's kind of a jelly kind of thing. It's very thick, but when you apply it, it smooths down to almost like a, almost like a watery feel. Um, this says it's a mask but uh, or can be used as a moisturizer but I use it as a serum and I actually discovered this through another sample um, I can't even remember I think I actually got the sample from Hush on another order and I just loved it it I've had this uh, probably a month or so and usually when this thing is straight down it's about to here and I've been using it twice to, twice a day. Um, and so I found this and I got this during the summer and because of the vitamin E in it, I think it really helped clear up some of the issues that I was having over the summer. As you recall, I was having some really nasty problems underneath my eyes. And I've also noticed a difference in my skin since I've started using it. My skin looks and feels better, clearer, um, just overall, I'm, I'm enjoying my skin better since I've started using this. So highly, highly recommend it. It is $27, but it's going to last a while because like I said, I've been using it about a month and I'm down to about here on the jar using it twice a day. This recommends once a day, so it's going to last a long time. You don't need to put a lot on your face at once and it's just... I put it under anything else that I use for my skin and I think my skin has dramatically improved since I've started using it and so I highly highly recommend this worth every penny all right so everything else that I have is hair care lots of hair care because as we like I said as we know I've been getting into my hair this year a lot I'm going to start with the line. One of them is a line that um, I've really been enjoying, and that is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration uh, line. I have the conditioner here. I have the shampoo. Um, I have the milk, and I have the mask. This stuff this was the first line I got out of my curl box and honestly if it had been any of this stuff that I've gotten since then I may not have continued with curl box even understanding that boxes don't always um, hit it out of the park all the time you know you're gonna have a box where you only like one item you're gonna have boxes where you don't like any item but $25 is um, a lot to waste on a box that you're 
your first box doesn't work for you. So these uh, were the part of the start of my hair journey. My hair at the time was um, in desperate need of shadow. Shadow is now at the window trying to get out. He's standing up and down. We have it open just a little bit because I've not been feeling well. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, this is um, the first stuff I started to use. When I started to use it, my hair was dry. My ends were um, really dry and damaged. I've since cut those off, but at the time I hadn't done that. And this stuff, my hair soaked it right up. And my hair came out soft and silky. My curl has been improving ever since. Um, I now mix this in with almost any other shampoo or conditioner that I get. I use the milk uh, almost every time for my after shower uh, care and my hair has been soft and silky and curly. Um, I'm having problems with flyaways now. I'm thinking some of that's the weather and some of that's the stage of where I'm at with um, uh, trying to get rid of the dead hair. I still have at least six inches of dead hair uh, I say dead hair, hair that was under the previous type of care that I was doing. So I have at least six inches of that I still need to eventually trim off. I don't want to do a big chop. I've just been trimming it off a little bit at a time. So I'm still having some problems with flyaways in the drier weather. The winter weather seems to be making that worse. Um, but these have been amazing. Um, if you, These are, however, rather expensive. Uh, the shampoo and conditioner are 10 to $12. Um, the milk is probably about the same, and I put down, there it is, the mask is about 13 to 15 depending on where you get it, but if you were to say, okay, I can't afford all that, I need only, I could only afford one thing out of that line, I'd say get this mask. This mask is amazing, amazing. Um, I, first time I used it, I used it without, as you all know, I used the um, Garnier, whole blends honey mask to uh, usually get my ends because my ends are almost always dry even when I wash and condition so um, but I always try every line without that first and I tried this without that and this I didn't need it I didn't need it anymore this got everything it just really I can't even tell you my hair was just silky and smooth and moisturized all the way down to the ends um, even rinsed out there was really good slip it was uh, my wet curl was amazing um, so if you can only afford one in this line because they are so expensive get the mask put out the extra money and get the mask this mask I'm using it once a week now I'm hoping to get another mask very soon to start using in the middle of the week, but I am using this once a week and just, this is amazing. 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 Have I said amazing enough? If I haven't, amazing. You have to get this. This is great. <laughs> this whole line, I think, um, really set me on the right track for my hair. And so I do highly recommend it. Um, oh, there's so many more things about that. Not that many more things. And I actually forgot a face care product. So let's go to that really, really quick. This is the Avocado and Oatmeal Pure Purifying Clay Facial Mask. You can get this at Walgreens. I got this on a two for five. I got a Dead Sea mask with it. This one is similar in some ways to the Cucumber Mask in that it is very soothing and cooling and you don't need a lot of it. My biggest complaint about this is you do have to um, it does kind of get watery on the bottom, so when I initially put it out, sometimes I'll just get some water. Um, but overall, this is a really, really good stress-relieving mask. The avocado has nutrients that's good for your skin. The oatmeal is good for your skin. Um, um, another one I highly recommend, and it's very, very affordable. I think they run 4 to $5 a piece usually, but you can get them on sale. And so if you can find this and get it on sale from Walgreens, Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, we're going to hear some background noises. <laughs> we're going to hear some background noises as my husband's doing domestic things. And right now he's getting himself something to drink, but he's going to be cooking very soon. So just to make you aware, 
I'm right next to the kitchen and he's going to be doing his thing, so you might be hearing some stuff in the background. There's no smell of vision. So there's no what? Smell of vision. Smell -o vision. He says there's no smell of vision. Yeah, that's true. I feel sad for you guys. You can't have my husband's wonderful cooking. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the rest of the hair care. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three of those can actually be all put in the same thing. So moving right along, we have the Eden Body Works Hair Tonic. Love this stuff. Love it. My only problem with it is it's not big enough. This is like $9 a bottle, and I could go through a whole bottle in three weeks. So it's a little on the pricey side for me. Um, I have figured out a way to use it a little less. Instead of spraying it directly in my hair, I spray it on my hands and put it into my hair. It is the first thing that goes into my hair um, after I get out of the shower. It has vitamins and minerals that are supposed to help your hair. And what I've noticed with it is my hair curls right up. There is no alcohol in it. It's, um, it's amazing. It's amazing. And it smells beautiful, too. Uh, it works really well in terms of scent with the conditioner I'm about to pull up. Um, I think you all know the conditioner. <laughs> if you don't, you haven't been watching long enough. Um, but anyway, yes, another one I highly recommend. And really hoping that if I can get this one to last long enough that I can go ahead and repurchase it. I had mentioned I was probably not going to repurchase it just because I was using it up so fast, but I'm thinking that the way I'm doing it now hopefully will help reduce how much I use and make it so that I can go ahead and buy it again and not have to worry about, um, you know, being too expensive. So did you guess the con conditioner? I know some of you did. I know you're all already down there telling me, yep, I know what it is. I know what it is. And that is the Ors Olive Oil Strengthening and Nourish Replenishing Conditioner infused with sweet orange oil. Oh my God, <laughs> gotta do it. Oh my Lord, oh, just the scent alone would make this worth it. But in addition to that, it's actually almost as good for me as the Manuka Honey Conditioner. And I actually do tend to mix these two. I'll put a big, huge dollop of this and three or four pumps of this into my hand. Uh, the scent of this, the scent on this one is so light that the scent of this is the one that takes over for that, which is great. <laughs> Cause after I get out of the shower, I pull my hair out of my microfiber towel and it wafts around. It's, oh God. Body lotion. I need a body lotion like this. <laughs> it's just that good. Anyway, so this actually helps reduce the cost of these for me. Although, as you can probably tell, I'm already down to here, and I just repurchased this like last month. Um, it's almost as good in terms of how well it conditions my hair. Smells amazing. It does have some dimethicone and peg nine dimethicone, and I think the peg nine is the one that you can rinse out. Peg nine or peg 12 can be rinsed out. The pegs can be rinsed out. But anyway, um, it's not really high up on there. So obviously the slip on this is really good. My hair doesn't have a problem with dimethicones. It has more trouble with isopropyl alcohol, which this does not have. Thank God. Um, <laughs> I'd be very depressed if I had to give this up for that. It gives me amazing slip. It's uh, very moisturizing. And yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend this one as well, especially if you can't afford the $12 for this. This is like five or six, you know, at Walmart. And it is at Walmart. This is where I, that's where I picked up this one. And I do like the shampoo that goes with it. I mix the shampoo with the, shamp the Manuka Honey shampoo for the same reasons to help cut the cost a little bit. And they do work well together, but the shampoo is not, it's a like, it's not necessarily love, whereas this I absolutely adore. I could have a whole case of this and I'd be so happy. So happy. The next one was a surprise to me. The rest of this line was actually a complete failure. Uh, the leave-in conditioner had to be sprayed on, my pump broke, it had isopropyl alcohol combined with dimethicone and while isopropyl alcohol uh, in enough quantities is bad for my hair. Isopropyl alcohol combined with dimethicone is worse. The two together just don't work, at least not in the same product. I apparently can layer products 
where one has one and the other has the other, but I cannot have them in the same product. It's just too much of a mess. But uh, this one actually works for my hair in an interesting way. And this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Moisture Whip Twisting Cream. I don't necessarily use this as a styler. Um, what I have found, or at least I did find over the summer after I got this, is that when I use this, I have less frizz and flyaways. When I don't use this, I tend to have more. I haven't found another product that seems to help with that so much. There is a Cantu one that helps a little bit, but not nearly as much as this. So this is the very last thing that I use in very, very, very small quantities uh, in my after shower care um, because of that um, reduction of the frizz we're being a bit frizzy today but it's it's kind of it's raining outside I'm actually really happy with my hair today uh, my hair has been through it today um, I used my curl formers last night um, I did get them to work but then I had to go to bed and I had my hair up and when I got up in the morning it was a mess and then I tried to refresh it and I put in too much product I ended up having to wash and then to be in time for this, I had to dry. So I actually had to use a dryer. And we all know I don't like using a dryer on my hair. But this stuff is the last stuff. Getting back to the products, this stuff is the last stuff that I will use in my routine. And every time I've taken it out, my frizz has been worse and my flyaways have been worse. So for now, it stays until I find something else that can replace it. I don't use it any other time except for at the end of that wash uh, the routine for after I wash my hair and I'm getting it ready to stop to finger curl. It does help with the finger curling a little bit. And um, yeah, so really like this just for the frizz control mostly. I don't actually use it to style. Another favorite is actually relatively new, but it is also from Oars, which makes my favorite. Yeah, anyway, we'll go back to that. Uh, and that's the Oars Hair Repair Coconut Oil and Baobab, I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> Vital oils. This is for dry, damaged hair. What I have started doing, my hair is not as dry and damaged anymore, but what I have started doing is um, before I go to bed, I will put oil in my hair um, before I pineapple it. And I have found that it helps keep my hair from feeling dry in the morning. Uh, it also, I found my hair will curl better with oils. Um, than it does with most anything else. I do have a Shea Moisture Curling Custard. I do have the Camp 2 uh, that I mentioned earlier. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I do use those sometimes, but I have found that oils will also bring back and restore my curls. This one is, um, this one smells beautiful. It has, unlike the Palmer's Naturals, which is very floral, this one isn't as floral. It's not really spicy like, say, the uh, Moroccan, uh, Moroccan oil that I used to get. This is sort of a, a blend of the two. It's a fruity, kind of a, yeah, kind of a fruity, uh, fruity scent with a bit of a spice to it. I don't have that much on my hands, but I might as well use it. My hair just really, really seems to really like it and I try to get it into my scalp too. Um, so I have just started using this for my before bed and um, yeah, I really love the scent of this. Uh, the uh, consistency is really nice. It's not as thick as the Moroccan oil, but it's not as watery as the Mau Moisture, Maui Moisture Agave Oil, which to me is just really, really thin, really watery. This is in between those two, which is really nice. I've had this about a week, maybe. I probably need to ease up a little bit. Um, another one that I highly recommend, I really enjoy it. You can get it off the um, Oars site for like $5.99, I think. Be careful about buying it elsewhere. I did end up putting this in with an Amazon order and I spent closer to $9 to get it. So that was a little odd in itself. I did alert Oars to it, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to fix it. So probably wanna get it off the Oars site when you're ordering other things because the shipping is gonna practically double what you're spending, but 
it's really good for the price and it's got a beautiful scent and like I said it just it really restores my hair my curl and it keeps my hair from feeling really dry in the morning um, after being in a pineapple all night so another thing I highly recommend so the last three things are from diva curl and what someone told me is if my hair is liking the diva curl it's more likely my hair likes protein and this is a recent development so um, I got a couple of their little um, mini packs you can get four minis for twenty dollars or it was and right now they're having two mini packs for thirty and if I had the money I'd jump on it and get some more mini packs but anyway um, the problem with diva curl is the expense and I'm hoping I have found a couple of alternates for some of these at this point, but I don't know yet, at least for one of them. Um, and one of them I don't think I'm going to get an alternate for. And that one is the Diva Curl Believe in Miracle Curl Plumper. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past month, within the past month, maybe a little longer, but my hair has been fuller and this is why this stuff is amazing um i put this in right after i put in this actually I take that back i will put this in and then i usually put in my uh milk and then i put this in so this is the third one Whoop, I'm dropping things so this is the third one that goes in and after that is another one that I like and I lied so I have one more to add to this list in hair care I'm sure some of you are going ah oh, you know better because you know better uh, but anyway so this is uh, to um, help give you more curl and to give you more volume and it works wonderfully for me so if you're having problems with volume um, and your hair is not protein sensitive this may be something you may want to try like I said though, these are expensive. I am already down, oh, I can't see. It's a clear gel, but I'm gonna have to be buying some more soon. I think I'm at least halfway through this and I've only been using it for, like I said, about a month or so. So um, yeah, it's expensive, but this one, I will find the money to repurchase because this volume in this curl is just, yeah. I like it. I like it. Part of the problem with my hair is it's been thinning a lot or it had started to thin a lot because of menopause. And then um, when I started trying to take care of it, I noticed that it wasn't as thick as it used to be because it used to be even thicker than it is now. It used to be like, well, before I had curl, it looked like I had a big fuzzy triangle on my head. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no definition. You could see a little bit of curl trying there, but there was no definition. And um, yeah, it was like a big triangle on my head. It was terrible, but it was very thick and full. And after menopause, I started losing some of that hair and it wasn't quite so thick and full anymore. And this has really, really helped out a lot in making it look thick and full, even though it's been thinning out. So you have thinner hair, I highly recommend that. The other two products that I used that have, I didn't use them today, probably should have, um, is the No Curl Left Behind Styling Cream and the Make Em Jealous Light Defining Gel. I do not like heavy gels. I've noticed that most places offer their super gel or their, yeah, the, the gel that's has more hold than this one. I really prefer a light hold. I like to be able to touch my hair and have it, you know, not be stiff or anything if I can. But these two together, I have found, will give me really beautiful, very defined curls when I want it. I don't use them all the time, be precisely because this stuff is expensive. This stuff goes for $26 for five ounces. Um, you can get up to, I don't know what the top um, most is, but it's very, very expensive. So um, I'm keeping my little ones for, you know, important things. But these two I ended up really liking because of the fact that they just really bring out my curl and make it very defined and my hair seems to really like it. All right, so the last one that you all are probably going, okay, where is it? Where is it? We know you like it. And that is the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. I have just learned, <laughs> I have learned so much 
This used to be the first thing that I put in my hair after this. Um, not anymore. <laughs> this now goes into my hair after this, uh, which goes in after my leave-in, which is either my milk or I'm trying out another leave-in right now. Um, because not only does this give you a lot of moisture, not only does it make your um, hair really like uh, Lydia, Lydia Trefera, I'm probably butchering her name, but she's one of my favorite uh, hair care YouTubers, um, and I'll link her down below. But uh, like she says, it makes your hair juicy. This stuff is amazing for that. But apparently, this can also work as a gel for your hair, kind of like the light defining gel. So in a way, I have my replacement for this, so the only one I really need is the styling cream in the future. Um, and since I've started doing that, I have noticed that I've gotten a little bit more definition with my hair and yeah, so still, have, like I said, still having problems with the flyaways and the frizz a little bit, but honestly think a lot of that's the weather and I'm trying to figure out how to work around that. But this stuff, it moisturizes, it, um, your hair drinks it up, it makes your hair nice and juicy, and you can use it as a gel. So, another highly recommended, this is another $9 a bottle on the Eden site. I, I highly recommend if you're gonna buy stuff on the Eden Butt site, which is about the only place I think you can find it. Uh, uh, you buy more than one at a time because the shipping is gonna cost you about $8, so buying one of these would cost you, you know, 15 or $16 by itself, whereas you can get two and you're splitting the shipping but highly recommend it. If you could afford anything um, out of these hair care products, um, the mask and the Eden Body Works would be my, well, and the oil would be my uh, recommendations for general and the Believe In Leave In if you have thin hair that needs more definition and fullness and all that. So highly recommend these. So yeah, that is it. That's all of my hair and skincare with one exception. I don't have it, but I've mentioned it before that I like the Skin Cuticles um, eye gel. Um, I'm hoping I can get some of that very soon. I have the little um, packet, but I wanna actually purchase some of the actual eye cream. I'm really, really feeling very good about where I'm at on my hair care journey and um, I think my hair is showing it and these are the products that I love for my hair and the products that are doing really well for my skin I think so hopefully something in there will also be something that you can use and enjoy and it's in your price range because we've got everything from you know affordable to holy cow <laughs> hmm. Yeah, holy cow, uh, in terms of the price range. So hopefully I've covered everything for all of you. And yeah, so that will be everything. That's, that's it for today. And yeah, that's it. That's everything I've got for you for my favorites of 2018. We did run a little long as I expected we would, but you know, first year. Next year, hopefully it'll be shorter because I won't have nearly so many. There wasn't as many skincare items in this one as there was in the uh, 2017 favorites. Anyway, I hope you like what you've seen and if you have that you will subscribe and if you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload if you're part of my notification squad oh yes indeed I must remind you again to check your bell and make sure it is set to remind you because I am still having my reminders go poof and if you don't subscribe you know that's okay I'm not everybody's cup of tea but we do hope that you will come back again and when you do don't forget to bring your cup of tea don't let me down. Getting more of the berry flavor and not so much of the stashed chocolate. And they are both still very muted and they've been in here for long enough that we would have a much, should have a much stronger flavor to them. Kind of disappointing. Because um, I really don't want to have to put three tea bags to make something work, really, but.
anyway, you all have a great day. Bye.